So we're now in La Fortuna and the thing about this place is that we're right next to a volcano which you can't see because it's really cloudy but there's loads of hot springs and today we are going to test out whether paying $85 for three hours which is quite expensive is better than the free ones so we've come to I think the most well-known one which is Tabacon so they open at 10 a.m. but we thought we would get here early to pay and then be the first people in there but the receptionists don't arrive till 10 a.m. so we're just gonna have to wait it out but by all accounts Tabacon is really nice high-end place unlike the places we've been staying in previously she is more used to high-end stuff than I am that's what happens when you're cheap looks like we weren't the only ones who had the great idea of turning up early and we're in correction $70 not 85 slightly cheaper and here we go warm yep warm water as you might expect from a thermal spa <laughs> so as I expected they won't let you fly a drone here which is fair enough there aren't many people here when I asked so it's all going to be GoPro footage but from first uh, first impressions there's loads of little uh, like rivers and waterfalls so should be pretty nice let's get in oh. ah. there's rocks underneath Be the nicest bit about it. I haven't tested yet, so. 
Let us do. Seems like we've lucked out with the rain. You don't say that very often. <laughs> so they have these uh, sort of relaxation areas. Little cabanas. Where you can chill out. There's three cabanas over there. It looks like they've been claimed and everybody's just doing phone club. And there's there's a bar just around the corner. So yeah, very pleasant. Going from the hot pools to the single cold pool is really nice. Did that a few times. So a bit of trivia for you: the Tabacon Resort is on a 900-acre estate, which is pretty big. I don't know the, the exact measurements of that, but I know that 900 acres is substantial. Um, it opens at 10 a.m., but you can actually stay here. So if you stay here, the pools and stuff open at 8 a.m., so you get the first two hours by yourself. I looked it up, actually. It's, it was only, well, I say only, it was $400 for three nights. So I have, what is, whatever that is, $133 a night for two people. So. Actually, it would have been cheaper to stay here for a night, get access to the pools instead of paying the entrance. Food for thought. And then with your $70 entrance, you get lunch as well. So we're just relaxing, waiting for lunch. And then we'll see. And then we'll go to the free ones. The river comes down here, flows down there, under this road, and then I think the other side of the road are the free ones. Obviously they're not man-made, so they don't have the same amount of sort of pools and waterfalls, but we'll see. I mean, I've never been there, so I can't comment yet. So, see you at lunch. Salads. Ah, Oh, looks pretty sweet. Sauteed vegetables and potatoes, fish and heart palm hash. I'm not sure what that is. Mm. And that was a very pleasant way to spend three and a half hours. The lunch was great. And also the water didn't have that sort of sulfurous smell that you get in the hot springs in Iceland, which was a nice surprise. Definitely worth it, I'd say. Yes. Yeah, worth it? Yes, worth the miles. Well, they were now walking down to the free ones, and we'll see if we've just been ripped off. I doubt it. Tabacon is just here, and the free one is just there. So it's the same river, but it's, I think it's just a river. Okay, I guess. So the free ones are literally 60 meters from the entrance to Tabacon. There we were thinking that all the cars were parked on the side for Tabacon, but no. Seems like free ones are more popular. <laughs> you would have thought it. <laughs> She looks pretty damn nice, except for this tunnel. Now that's a very interesting one, except for the tunnel. 
under the road. There's a lot more pools than I thought there'd be and it's actually quite nice. So whether you should pay the $70 to go to Tabacan or just go to the free one, I thought it was going to be an easier decision than that. Tabacan is obviously nicer. It's been built to be a spa, but if you don't want to drop the $70, then free ones would be pretty nice for an hour or two. This is, it depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. Those looks more relaxing than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be really um, not very deep. I mean, they're not as deep as these ones, but there's still people sort of waist high and they've built sort of little pools as well, so. I was recommending Oh, well, what? <laughs> You're gonna have to say that again. <laughs> I'd recommend Tabacon. Don't listen to her. I've got the conclusion. If you have $70, spend it and know that Tabacon is the better spa, I guess. If you don't have $70 to spend or you don't want to spend $70 on a morning at the spa, then go to the free one and know that ultimately you're still soaking in exactly the same water. Um, you just might not have as nice a surroundings. So either one's good. And I would highly, uh, I would highly recommend doing it. It's only about 10 kilometers outside La Fortuna. So grab a taxi or if you've got a car, easy. Peace.